Hello, it's been a little bit. Um, I want to comment on the TV movie on Netflix, Bandersnatch. And first of all, I have some theories about the whole thing. Um, I believe the train ride where he takes the ride with his mother and then dies while in the doctor's office is the true ending of Bandersnatch. And the reason why I think that is every other ending doesn't get played out with a song. But the train ride ending does have a song that plays it out. So, just my little theory. Okay, also, there are two places in Bandersnatch where I think they basically borrowed an idea from the Twilight Zone. The first one is when he's in the psychiatrist's office and he decides not to fight her and just goes to the window. All of a sudden, you see the camera crew and you see the director and he's being called a different name. And there is an episode in the Twilight Zone that's almost nearly the same where the actor thinks he's the person and they say cut and he still thinks he's living this life. And the second part that I feel like they borrowed from the Twilight Zone was there was this episode in the Twilight Zone where this guy was afraid to go fall asleep. He, he felt that once he fell asleep he was going to die. And in that episode, he jumps out the window, but that was all his imagination. In reality, he fell asleep and then immediately died. Now, if you remember in the train scene, the doctor says, oh, he just fell asleep and then died. That's almost exactly what the Twilight Zone episode happens, where he basically falls asleep and dies. And he imagines another death, though. So, again, I think there is a borrowing of ideas from the Twilight Zone. Next, there are some themes to Bandersnatch, this movie, that are borrowed from Alice's in the Alice in Wonderland and through the Looking Glass. Um, one, he, when he goes to the part where he's going to say yes or no to his mom, he literally goes through a mirror. The same thing happens in Alice in Wonderland. It's through the looking glass, he goes through a mirror. Number two, what is the doll that he's holding? It's a rabbit. What happens in Alice in Wonderland? She follows the rabbit through what? The whole. What's a repeating thing that's said in Bandersnatch? You're in the hole, mate. You're in the hole. So basically you've got him talking about being in the hole. He's got the rabbit. He's going through the glass. It's obviously an homage to Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. So yeah, I thought, mm, as far as the review of the actual film, I thought I liked it. It was a fond memory of the 80s when I would read the Choose Your Own Adventure books. And so I even felt like the characters were very like reminiscent of what I was reading way back when. So yeah, it's a <laughs> it was a good film. Um, Anything else? I think that's it. So that's my thoughts and feelings of Bandersnatch. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Bandersnatch, as you probably, for some of you, may not know, Bandersnatch was a character in Alice in Wonderland. So just another obvious reference why I'm pretty sure all those things that happened in the movie were an homage to the book in the movie. Okay, of Alice in Wonderland. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.